Good day everyone. Today, we will discuss about the limit of a function. One-sided limits. Definition 1. Let f be a function that is defined at every number in some open interval ac. Then the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the right is l. Written the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the right is l. x approaches a. You have observed that there is a exponent of positive. It indicates that the values of x coming from the right of a. As x approaches a from the right, f of x approaches to a certain value of l. Now, let us observe the graph of f of x is equal to the square root of x minus 5. You have observed that the graph of the given function is only defined at the right side of 5. As x approaches to 5 from the right, the graph of a function is defined. But it is not defined as the value of x approaches 5 from the left. Now, to define the limit, the limit of the square root of x minus 5 as x approaches 5 from the right, we only need is to substitute the value of x. So, the value of x, which is 5, we have the square root of 5 minus 5, then we have the limit of the square root of x minus 5 as x approaches to 5 from the right is 0. Definition 2. Let f be a function that is defined at every number in some open interval dA. Then the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the left is L. Written, the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the left is L. You have observed that the exponent of a is negative. It indicates that the values of x is coming from the left of a. As the values of x approaches a from the left, the f of x approaches to L. Now, I want you to observe the graph of the function f of x is equal to negative the square root of negative x plus 5. You have observed that the graph is only defined as the values of x approaches 5 from the left, and it is not defined when the values of x approaches from the right. To define the limit, the limit of the given function, which is negative the square root of negative x plus 5, as x approaches 5 from the left, substitute the value of x to 5. So we have negative the square root of negative 5 plus 5. You have observed that the limit of negative the square root of negative x plus 5 as x approaches 5 from the left is 0. Two-sided limit theorem. Let f of x exist and is equal to L if and only if the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the left and the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the right both exist and both are equal to L. Let us now consider the graph of f of x is equal to x cubed minus 2. Now, let us now define the left-hand limit of the given function. The limit of x cubed minus 2 as x approaches a from the left. And we will now replace the value of x to 0 to define the limit. Then simplify the limit of x cubed minus 2 as x approaches 0 from the left is negative 2. It means that the value of x approaches 0, f of x approaches negative 2. On the other side, on the right side, the right-hand limit of 
x cubed minus 2 as x approaches 0 from the right. Substitute the value of x to 0. Simplify. And the limit of x cubed minus 2 as x approaches 0 from the right is negative 2. So you have observed as the value of x coming from the right approaches to 0, f of x approaches negative 2. So the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the left is the same as the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the right. So the left hand limit and the right hand limit are the same, which is equal to negative 2. Therefore, we can say that the limit exists and the limit of x cubed minus 2 as x approaches 0 is negative 2. Example number 1. Let us consider a piecewise function f of x is equal to 1 if x is less than 2, x squared if x is equal to 2. Evaluate the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 from the left and the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 from the right and the limit of f of x as x approaches 2. Let us start with the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 from the left or we have the left hand limit. The limit, since as x approaches 2 from the left, we need to identify first what function in our piecewise function we're going to use. Observe that in the first function, f of x is equal to 1, x is less than 2. While the second function, x squared, if x is equal to 2. Since we're looking for the values of x from the left of 2, so therefore we will use x is less than 2 because all values of x in this domain are at the left side of 2. So we will use f of x is equal to 1. So we have the limit of 1 as x approaches 2 from the left. Since we have limit of a constant, so the limit of a constant as x approaches 2 from the left is always a constant. Therefore, this is equal to 1. Then we will now proceed to the right hand limit or the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 from the right. Now, let's go back to the given piecewise function. And we're going to check in which function whose values are the left of 2. You have observed that there is no defined values of x coming from the left, coming from the right of 2. Therefore, the right hand limit does not exist. Since the limit of a function as x approaches 2 from the left is not equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 from the right. Therefore, the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 does not exist. And this is our two-sided limit. So there is no limit that will define as x approaches Two. Example number two. Given a piecewise function f of x is equal to x plus 5 if x is less than negative 1 and x squared if x is greater than or equal to negative 1. Evaluate the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 1 from the left. The limit of f of x as x approaches negative 1 from the right. And 
the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 1. Okay, let us start with the left-hand limit. The limit of f of x as x approaches negative 1 from the left. Now, titingnan natin ang given piecewise function. Hahanapin natin kung anong function ang gagamitin natin whose values of x are coming from the left of negative 1. You have observed that in the given piecewise function, we have x less than negative 1. It means these are the values of uh, x approaches negative 1 from the left. Therefore, we will use x plus 5. So we have the limit of x plus 5 as x approaches negative 1 from the left. Then, evaluate the limit. We have negative 1 plus 5. Then simplify the result is positive 4. Now, the right-hand limit. The limit of f of x as x approaches negative 1 from the right. Balikan na naman natin yung given function natin. Hahanapin natin yung domain kung saan yung values of x or the values of x are the right side of negative 1. So, you have observed that in this domain, x is greater than or equal to negative 1. It means that the values of x coming from the right side of negative 1. So, we will use x squared. Therefore, we have the limit of x squared as x approaches negative 1 from the right. Then, evaluate the limit, negative 1 squared. Then, simplify, we have positive 1. Now, I want you to observe the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit. You have observed that the, that the left-hand limit is not equal to the right-hand limit. Then, the two-sided limit, or the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 1, does not exist. Example number 3. Given a piecewise function, we have f of x is equal to x plus 5 if x is greater than negative 1. Then we have x squared plus 3 if x is less than or equal to negative 1. Evaluate the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 1 from the left. Limit of f of x as x approaches negative 1 from the right. And the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 1. So let us start with the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 1 from the left, and that is the left-hand limit. Now, first we need to identify what function we're going to use. Okay, let's go back to the given piecewise function. So we're looking for the values of x approaches negative 1 from the left. So, from this given domain, it's satisfied in this domain. x is less than or equal to negative 1. It means that the values of x, the value of x approaches negative 1 from the left. So, we will use the function x squared plus 3. So, we have the limit of x squared plus 3 as x approaches negative 1 from the left. Then evaluate 1 plus 3, then simplify, the result is 4. Then the left hand limit is 4. Now, let us now evaluate the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 1 from the right, or we have the right hand limit. The limit of f of x as x approaches negative 1 from the right. Now, let us check in which function we're going to use whose domain or the values of x coming from the right side of negative 1. 
So it's satisfied to the domain of x is greater than negative 1. Therefore, we will use x plus 5. Since all values of x here are uh, coming from the right side of negative 1. So we have the limit of x plus 5 as x approaches negative 1 from the right. Now, evaluate the given limit. So we have negative 1 plus 5. Simplify, we have 4. Therefore, the right-hand limit is 4. Now, I want you to compare the, le the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit. You have observed that the left-hand limit is equal to the right-hand limit. So, both have the same value. Therefore, we have the two-sided limit, which is the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 1 is 4. So, there is a defined limit.